how to manifest your specific person when you are feeling hurt. Hello beautiful soul, welcome back to my channel. This is Priya, your manifestation coach. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can manifest the version of your specific person. Although you are feeling hurt by something that you experienced previously with them. But first, if you would like to get coached by me, I offer an online course, Manifest Your SP Mastery. This is where I show you step-by-step step how to manifest the version of your specific person that you desire. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you manifest anything that your heart desires. And finally, I also offer monthly membership coaching. This is where you can get live weekly coaching with me to really stay on top of your manifestation game. Now you can get access to any of these offerings by simply clicking the link below in the description box. Okay, let's get back to this video. How to manifest your SP although you are feeling hurt. So I thought this was a really great question because on the SP journey, Usually, you know, people come into the SP world because they already have history with that specific person and they already had an experience with that specific person where that specific person did something or treated them in a way that, you know, really triggered you where now you're feeling very hurt. And so, although you're trying to manifest the version of them that you prefer, you're still really hurt with this thing that they did to you like a month ago or six months ago. And so how can you move forward from this? How do you move forward from this to manifest the version of your specific person that you desire? So firstly, I want you to know that the hurt that you are feeling is valid. We're not invalidating that you had this hurtful experience. That's the first thing. And the reason why we want to make sure that we actually validate the fact that you're feeling hurt is because a lot of the times people will try to suppress their negative emotions and pretend, oh no, I'm feeling good when really you're feeling hurt, sad, and depressed. And that's not what we want to do. Being a deliberate creator is actually about being really authentic about how you're feeling because only when you're real about what you're feeling can you then do something to change it and to shift it. So firstly, it's valid that you are hurt um, because, you know, yeah, somebody that you love said something or treated you in a way that was disrespectful and, and, and that was hurtful. Now from there, what you want to do is you actually want to allow yourself to feel the emotion so you're not going to reject the hurt that you are feeling but what you are going to reject is the story behind it so when you're feeling angry you're feeling hurt you're feeling sad it's because there's a story going on about what happened in the past oh he said this he did this um he was so disrespectful to me he 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 spoke to me in this way he said that um, he can't stand me and that he hates me, okay? You are, in the present moment, you are reliving that story, which is causing the hurt or the sadness or the anger to be activated within you, right? That story is what is causing a, man a manifestation of this emotion to be uh, present within you. So in order to actually transmute and alchemize this emotion, you want to be very conscious of rejecting the story. So you're no longer going to entertain the story behind what you're feeling and instead you're going to bring your focus on and your awareness onto the emotion that you are feeling. And then you're going to allow yourself to feel the emotion. Remember that you are not your emotions, emotions are transient and the way to really dissolve that emotion is actually to make peace with the emotion, do not judge the emotion, allow yourself to feel the emotion without judgment by focusing simply on the emotion again without the story. So you're rejecting the story and you're just solely focusing on the emotion. When you do this, you will feel the sadness or the hurt dissipate. It will dissipate very quickly. It will dissolve very quickly because you're no longer focused on the story that is causing the emotion. Something else that I want to shine light on here is that don't go looking for why you're hurt or like why you're feeling sad. It's not something that you're actively going and, and looking for because what you focus on you get more of. It's more 
as you're operating through your day and something arises within you, that trigger arises within you where you're feeling hurt or you're feeling angry, that is how you deal with it in the present moment. You accept the emotion, but you reject the story. And once that emotion dissolves, you will come back to neutral. You will feel satisfied and safe again in your body and when you get to that neutral place that's when you can go back to affirming from the end and thinking as if you're the version of you that has your sp that's when you can start you know affirming me and my sp are in a happy committed relationship i'm always prioritized i'm always perfect no matter what or whatever your affirmations are that imply your end so when the hurt comes up you're not rejecting it you're not suppressing it you're not judging it you're not making yourself wrong you are simply allowing and accepting what it is that you're feeling but you are rejecting the negative story you're rejecting the old story when you do this you will alchemize and dissolve that negative emotion you will come back to a neutral place you will feel this inside your body and then from there you can start affirming from your end again you start to think as if you're the version of you that has your specific person using whatever affirmations it is that you were using so I hope this has really helped shine some light on what to do when you are feeling hurt. Something else that I want to point out here is that you do not want to give your triggers a negative meaning. Because a lot of the times people think when they're doing this work, if they're feeling triggered, it means that they're not getting their manifestation. Or if I'm feeling hurt or if I'm feeling angry or pissed off, it means that I'm not getting my emotion, I'm not getting my manifestation and that I'm doing something wrong. No, that's not true at all. Your triggers are not stopping you from getting your manifestation unless you give it the meaning that it is, unless you decide and you start to assume, I'm doing something wrong, this isn't working because I'm feeling triggered. But in reality, your triggers are actually there to help you become the version of you that has your manifestation. Your triggers are simply letting you know that right now you are focused on an opposing story that is no longer your truth, that no longer belongs to the version of you that has your manifestation. And so when you're feeling triggered, all you want to do is use it as an opportunity to let go of that resentment, to let go of the hurt or the sadness or the anger applying what I just shared with you about accepting the emotion but rejecting the story. Another way that you could look at this is ultimately your triggers is all part of the perfect unfolding. Give it that meaning that this is part of the perfect unfolding, that this is part of the bridge of events to you getting the version of your specific person that you desire. The more you can actually be present with your triggers and reject the story, you will find that your triggers will get less and less and less and less. And of course, this is actually, you know, assuming that you are persisting with your new story. You absolutely want to be persisting with your new story and reprogramming your subconscious mind to know that you are the version of you that does have your SP, that you are perfect no matter what. So you definitely want to be doing that. And in tandem with that, you're honoring any emotions that come up. You're accepting the emotion, you're feeling it, but you're rejecting the negative story uh, behind it. And as you keep doing this, you are solidifying yourself in the new version of you that has your specific person. As you keep doing this, your triggers will get less and less and less. So if initially your trigger was like at a volume 10 saying that's the maximum, over time it will be like a volume 5, then it will be a volume 2, and then it will be a volume 0 where you're just no longer triggered anymore because that energy has been transmuted within you because every time you chose to accept the emotion and reject the story you are transmuting you are alchemizing that energy inside of your body and this is how you release the hurt this is how you let go of the past you do want to remember that ultimately the new story that you're implementing is key here you cannot keep dwelling and marinating in the old story and expect your reality to show you something different. You absolutely want to be practicing thinking as if you're the version of you that has your specific person through repetition. You want to be saturating your subconscious mind with this new story as often as possible. And in, at the same time, you want to be honoring any triggers that come up for you. So I hope this is now clear on how you can 
dissolve the hurt, the anger, the sadness, or whatever emotion it is that you are feeling that is keeping you anchored to your past or tethered to that past experience or past story. Ultimately, from a bigger picture, you want to remember that in the present moment, that thing that occurred in the past, it's now just a story. Yes, it occurred in the past. We're not invalidating that you that you uh, didn't have that experience. Yes, that experience occurred, but you don't have to relive that experience in the present moment by reliving the story over and over and over and again in your mind. That's a choice. That's a choice. And so the new choice that you want to make is that you want to reject the story. Nope. But accept the emotion, let it transmute. Then from there, you redirect your mind to the new story and you keep persisting in the new story. This doesn't have to be perfect, by the way. Do not strive for perfection. Just see this as a practice where you're cultivating the practice to really make your inner world the most important thing, meaning the stories that you're telling yourself is the most important thing. You thinking from the end and describing your specific person the way you prefer them to be is the most important thing because your subconscious mind will always produce proof to you of the dominant story that you are telling. This is how you will manifest the version of your specific person that you desire. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening. Mwah.